to begin to call the Lord by his name, worship the beauty of his holiness, give him praise for all he has done in your life, give him praise for all he is yet to do in your life also. Our God is a faithful God. He is too faithful to fail. Praise for all he is yet to do. Whenever you call upon him, he answers mighty things beyond our widest imagination. I've never seen any man that walks with God and ended up in shame. I'm yet to see one. I'm yet to see one. Hallelujah. Awesome he has been, beautiful he has been, mm -hmm. great he has also been. His greatness cannot be compared. His greatness cannot be compared. Indeed. I see the Lord moving in your favor. This is the eighth day of the prophetic prayer time. And our God has been awesome to us. He has been so, 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 so awesome to us. So I just want you to lift up your voice this morning and call him faithful God. I want you to lift up your voice. Child of God, call him awesome God. I want you to lift up your voice and worship the beauty of his holiness. We're going to go back to worship. But before we go back to worship, I want you 
to indeed call him the Aya, call him the Lion of the tribe of Judah, and call him a great God. His greatness cannot be equated. His greatness is so awesome. His greatness is so beautiful. Oh my God. I feel something in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if you feel what I feel. But I want you to enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. We are still on. There is something about the blood. But enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Come to him with a heart of thanksgiving. Come to him with a heart of praise. Because I feel the Lord doing awesome, marvelous, beautiful things in your life and in my life. I see the Lord. Oh, I see the Lord doing great things. I see the Lord doing awesome things. I see the Lord doing beautiful things. Matikili Aroshataha. Ratalagusoto <laughs> Brother to Susuto Legedesh. This morning, the Lord will arise and fight those battles in your life that you cannot tell anybody about. Oh, yes, there is someone in the house this morning. I feel it in my spirit. There is a battle you don't know how to don't know where to start from. You don't know how to begin. But the Lord is going to take over that battle and the Lord will frustrate all that has frustrated you in the past. It is your season. It is your sister telling you this is it. Walk in this way. Male te kebos. Irregali. Eretete ye kasusi alatendia. Are you ready to worship him right now? Hallelujah. 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 Taz yoga batu yo. Drop a suit. Retesi yo talia. Call him reliable God. Call him unchangeable God. Call him the faithful God. Oh, let's take this song right now. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. Ah. The Lord will guide you. He will protect you. He will protect your own.
I see the Lord taking someone higher. My life is for your glory, your glory. Be like some of the things, oh, you make the difference. I like it, oh. I like the way you do me, oh. Promotion everywhere. There is someone in the house. It doesn't matter what is happening around the world. I see promotion coming your way. Oh, can you say thank you, Jesus? Taking someone higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Redosia Galati. It doesn't matter the conspiracy. The Lord is going to take you. And all of them that are waiting to see you, see Shin, they will wait in vain. They'll just keep standing at the spot while the Lord will keep taking you high. Hallelujah. Can I hear you say, I love you, Lord? My life is for your glory, your glory. Make the little things I do be like an beating, you know. Your grace makes the difference, just they embarrass me, oh. I like it, oh. I like the way you did me, oh. Promotion Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your testimony can. I do not care how it looks now. I just know that our God is well able. I know that there is nothing that is too difficult for him to do. Hallelujah. Glory. Your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is no respect of the first one. There is nothing that he cannot do. There is nothing that is too difficult for him to do. Can I hear you say hallelujah? Praise God. Praise God. He's a good God. Now we have been talking about the blood. And we're saying that on, on Friday we are, going to be, we are going to come together in the place of Passover. And we're going to be having three ministers. Bible made us to understand that there are three that bears record in heaven and there are three that bears witness on earth. Three is the number of trinity. Three is the number of completion. I see the Lord completing all that has to do with you and I see you returning with a testimony on your lips. Hallelujah. 
Are you in the house this morning? Can I hear you say, cover me with your blood, oh Lord. Lift up your voice. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer before we enter into the main thing we want to discuss today. Cover me with your blood. Cover my children with your blood. Cover my home with your blood. In the face of this pandemic that has hit the world, cover all I love with your blood. Yes, cover us with your blood. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Pray that prayer now. Pray that prayer now. Say, cover me with your blood. Hallelujah. Children of the Most High God, our God will not see you and fail is not possible. Our God will not see you and fail. He is a great and mighty God. He is the I am that I am, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the one that lives in the heavens and the earth is just but his full store. Praise God. Children of God, we started dealing with the blood and we have been looking at different men in scriptures understood the place of the blood and yesterday we looked at David today I want you to see some other people in scriptures that understood the place of the blood and when they understood the mystery of the blood they became they, they started living in the realm of impossibilities and things started happening for them i made you to understand that the blood speaks the blood cries and you know the beautiful thing about the blood it does not just stop speaking it just keeps speaking i also made you to understand that the life of the flesh is in the blood i also made you to see from the windows of scripture that it is the blood that makes atonement now there is something again I want you to know. When you get to the place of the altar with the blood, you can either assess the privilege to bless or the privilege to curse. How did I know? Look at what transpired in the windows of this scripture, Numbers chapter number, it started in Numbers 22. Numbers chapter number 22. There was this king. He found out that there are this crop of people that are just blessed. And he didn't know what to do. He was confused. He felt that these people are blessed. There is a blessing upon them. Remember that the Israelites carried the blessing of Abraham. And the blessing of Abraham also was enacted on the table of blood. When the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, this is what I'm going to do with you. Abraham didn't take it lightly. The next thing Abraham did was to cut a blood cover. He ran to the place of the altar and he offered burnt offerings. And at the end of the day again, the Lord said, this cover that I'm going to have to make the families of the earth to be blessed through you. I want to further keep reenacting it by the mystery of circumcision. And so, when it came to the time that the children of, 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 uh, of Israel had left Egypt, and of course they were moving to the promised land, then the king of Moab heard about them. The king of Moab said, if I go to war with these people, I'm not going to win. What do I do? Then the king of Moab decided to go and consult the prophet in those days, Balaam. And when he went to consult the prophet Balaam, he said, Balaam, come. There is something I need you to do for me. He sent, he sent for Balaam. The first time, I think Balaam didn't want to do it. You know, the second time, Balaam, the, the, Balaam was just disturbing God. Say, God, what am I going to do? Should I go? Should I go? Should I go? What am I going to do? And uh, later, Balaam kind of went. When Balaam got to the place, he said, there are these people. I need them 
cost. Hallelujah. <laughs> I need them cost. Are you in the house this morning watching me? Can I hear you say, I cannot be cost. By the mystery of the blood covenant of Abraham, my family cannot be cost. My children cannot be cost. My spouse cannot be cost. We are covered by the blood. Are you in the house this morning? An open mouth is an open destiny. As you're saying it, you're endorsing it with you typing, we cannot be cost. Hallelujah. If there is nothing you say again repeatedly tonight, you can be saying scriptures cannot be broken. Scriptures cannot be broken. Scriptures cannot be broken. Guess what? God cannot lie. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so when you got to Numbers chapter number 23, you will see what happened. There. At, as at this point, Balaam has gone to Balak and the, the process of trying to cause the Israelites had begun. And look at what Balaam had to say. He said, I'm going to on to Balak, build seven altars and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. You I had to tell you that it doesn't matter how many cow or rams or oxen that has been buried to bring you down. That I came to bring you the good news. Jesus was buried so that you will no longer be buried. Your be buried. Your destiny would not be buried. The star of your children would not be buried. The destinies of your children would not be buried. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Say, by the mystery of the blood, our glory will not be buried. By the mystery of the blood, our star will not be buried. By the mystery of the blood, our destinies will not be buried. By the mystery of the blood, will not be buried in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in verse 2, and Balak did as Balaam had spoken. And the funny thing is that though it is scriptural, the Bible says that the children of the world, that they are wiser than us. Most times when you give these funny instructions to the children of the world, before you know it, before you know it, they are going all, all out to do what they have been asked to do to bring down the child of God but I came to announce to you today that we overcame by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimonies we overcame by the blood of Jesus by the mystery of the blood we are overcomers are you in the house this morning say by the mystery of the blood I am an overcomer by the mystery of the blood I overcame by the mystery of the blood my children overcame by the mystery of the blood my husband overcame by the mystery of the blood all my loved ones overcame in the name of Jesus hallelujah he said and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram on every altar they offered a bullock and a ram you know what the Bible says the Bible says and Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by thy burnt offering, and I will go. Paraventure the Lord will come to meet me, and whatsoever he showeth me, I shall tell thee of. So immediately the blood was offered. Because the Lord had warned Balaam from the beginning. That is why he didn't start issuing the curse. That is why he didn't start telling these bloods that were offered in seven places. That listen, I want you to begin to speak that cursed are the Israelites. Even before, even before he got to that place, the Lord has and said, hey, the only thing you're going to say there is what I say to you. You're in the house this morning from now. Before your enemies will perpetuate evil, the Lord will stop them. The Lord will stop them. It's not the first time the Lord is doing that. Remember the case of Jacob and Laban. Before Laban caught up with Jacob, the Lord appeared. Hey, hey, hey. Be careful what you say to him. 
because of you. The Lord will appear to someone and say, be careful. This one is my own. In the name of Jesus. By the mystery of Passover on Friday. Any negative altar that they call your name will backfire. In the name of Jesus. Any negative altar they call the name of your children. It will backfire. In the name of Jesus. Every negative altar they call the name of your spouse. It will backfire. In the name of Jesus. Every negative altar they call your business. It will backfire. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, child of God. Upon the altar of blood, you either issue a curse or you issue a blessing. But by the mystery of Passover on Friday, a blessing shall be issued on your behalf. Hallelujah. A blessing shall be issued on your behalf. Child of God, this process occurred Three times. Because when he went, the Lord ordered him to bless. So he didn't have a choice but to bless. A second time that happened, he went again. The Lord ordered him to bless again. And the third time. <laughs> Child of God. When the third time came, the Bible says in Numbers 23, 19. He said, God is not a man that he should lie. Ah, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said the thing and will he not make it good? The Lord will not see your case and begin to lie. The Lord will not see you and repent. The Lord has ordered the blessing upon you and blessed you will be. Blessed you will be in the city. Blessed you will be in the field. Blessed shall the fruit of your, your, your womb be. Blessed shall your home be. Blessed shall the works of your hands be. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, let your amen become back to back at this point let your amen become a back to back amen in the name of Jesus he said God is not a man that he should love neither is it the son of man that he should repent has he said a thing and will he not do it or has he spoken and will he not make it good child of God by the mystery of the Passover blood the Lord will make good all that belongs to you the Lord will make good your children. The Lord will make good the works of your hands. The Lord will make good your, your, your going out. The Lord will make good your coming in. The Lord, the Lord will make good your wife in the name of Jesus. 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless. <laughs> and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it. Child of God, the Lord has blessed you. No all can reverse your blessing. No all can reverse your blessing. If they cannot reverse the death of Jesus on the cross, oh, Makili Kiria, so blessings cannot be reversed. The blessings of your children cannot be reversed. The blessings of your husband cannot be reversed. The blessings of your wife cannot be reversed. Are you in the house this morning? Can I hear you say, my blessings are irreversible by the blood. My blessings are irreversible by the blood of Jesus. My blessings are irreversible in the by the reason of the Passover this year, whenever they take your name anywhere, their priest will begin to bless you. Their priest will re receive a commandment to bless. The Kikaru Kalabasuta Yakabaria. You are uncursable, your blessing is irreversible. You are uncursable, your blessing is irreversible. You are uncursable, your blessing is irreversible. In the name of of Jesus, child of God, there is something about the blood. 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 The blood activates the manifestation of prophecies. We're looking at the series, 
there is something about the blood. One day, the mother of Samson was in the field and she had an encounter. And when he had that encounter, she ran home and she said to her husband, I had an encounter with an angel. And I really told the husband, he said, oh God, pray that I will also see this angel you talked about. And there was a prayer. And once again, this angel came and Manoah was, was privileged to see the angel. And when he saw the angel, he asked the angel, Angel, what is your name? He said, why do you ask, seeing that that is a it's something I want to do? The Bible made me to understand that Samson's father, on hearing the prophecy, immediately took delivery of that prophecy by the blood. The Bible says, so Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered it upon a rock unto the Lord. And the angel did wondrously. And Manoah and his wife looked on. The blood activates the manifest. Remember that this woman, she had an encounter with the angel. She didn't understand that when you have such encounter, you take delivery of it on the altar by the mystery of the blood. So the husband that understood this, he said, pray again that we will have this encounter. And indeed, there was an encounter. And immediately, the husband took delivery by the mystery of the blood. Pray a prayer. By the mystery of Passover on Friday, I take delivery of every good prophecies hanging over my life. Some of you, maybe uh, they've given you prophecy how many years ago? They said this will happen, that will happen, the other one will happen. You're not seeing the manifestation. It is beginning to look as if the Lord has lied to you. I came tonight to tell you by the mystery of Passover, your prophecy will manifest. Your prophecy will manifest. Your prophecy will manifest. Your prophecy will manifest no matter how long you have waited for that manifestation by the mystery of the blood that manifestation will become a reality in the name of Jesus that manifestation will become a reality in the name of Jesus just like the manifestation of the prophecy that said children of Israel you will leave that strange place after 400 years he didn't want to come to pass. But by the mystery of Passover, Mataki Ragusha Batasia, those prophecies became a reality. Are you in the house, someone? Take it with your amen back to back in the name of Jesus. Oreket Yokosopahate, Eletanta Yakato Sokolebrata, Erula Das Yogorokontahante, Etetutia Katale Gerebosia. Your station all that has been spoken concerning you the one spoken concerning your children the one spoken concerning your husband the one spoken concerning your business it shall all come to pass by the mystery of the blood of passover you will take delivery of your glorious prophecies hallelujah of course the prophecy was given to abraham by god himself and when this prophecy was given to Abraham, what did Abraham do? The Lord had come to Abraham in Genesis 12. He said, I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee. I will make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless you. I will curse them that curse you. And indeed, all the families of the earth be blessed. Abraham heard these things. Did he make light of what he had heard? No. What did Abraham do? The Bible made me to understand that in verse 7, and the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord which has appeared to him. By the mystery of the altar, you will take delivery of all 
prophecy that has come upon you. There is something about the blood. There is something. 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 There is something about the blood. There is something. There is something. There is something. The mystery of the blood brings the attention of God to you. The mystery of the blood, if you connect right, it draws the attention of heaven to you. How did I know? Yesterday we talked about all that David did and how David was a man of the altar and understood the place of the blood. Now, he didn't just do that. He passed it on to his children and made the children understand it. And that was why when Solomon took over the throne, this is what happened. First Kings chapter number 3. The Bible says in verse 3, And Solomon loved the Lord. This is another criteria. When your love backs up your sacrifice, hey, 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 the effect becomes instant. The Bible says, walking in the status of David, his father. His father had taught him the secrets that made him never to lose a battle. And Solomon now took it to the next level. The level that Solomon took it to, you know what he now did? He now conferred complete peace upon Solomon. Solomon didn't fight even one battle. In fact, in the reigning of Solomon, the Bible made me to understand that the Lord had given him peace all by the mystery of the blood of Passover. I see someone in the house this morning encountering the peace that passes all understanding. There will be peace in your home. There will be peace among your children. There will be peace in the life of your spouse. There will be peace in the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus. Is your back to back amen coming? Is your back to back amen? Amen is not encouraging the preacher. Amen is taking, taking delivery of what has been spoken over you. That is amen. So whenever you begin to say amen, amen, amen upon Amen. You begin to draw all that has been said. It begins to come in a rush to you and your offspring. Solomon didn't fight one battle. The Lord gave Solomon what you call all round peace. I see peace coming into your finance. I see peace coming into your health. I see peace. Bareke dusi akatalia. Rasate. Peace like a river flows now in the name of Jesus. By the mystery of the blood, your peace shall be confirmed. It doesn't matter if the whole world is experiencing a pandemic, you shall have peace. The Bible says, only he is sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. So this was not even going to be the first sacrifice. He, he has been sacrificing because that was what he saw his father doing. The Bible now said this was a heavier sacrifice. Look at it. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. For that was the great high place. He sacrificed a thousand burnt offering did Solomon offer upon that altar. There was a particular altar he got there. <laughs> the blood draws the attention of God to a man. The blood. Listen, 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 listen. Solomon knew something very deep. Do you know that the lamb that was sacrificed during Passover in Egypt was more than a thousand? You can imagine how many children of Israelites that needed to go. And, and Moses said, for every family a lamb, for every, for every family. Meaning, in fact, you know, a man is called a nation. That is why they said that Jacob entered, you know, as just a person and came out as an institution. When he was coming out, his name was now Israel in that, you know, in that local battle he had with Jehovah Shammah. You understand what I'm trying to say? Now listen, listen. Solomon understood what happened during Passover. A lot of blood just started flowing. There was the blood flow like a river. And that 
instantly their freedom was declared the attention of god was brought into their situation immediately and pharaoh said go <laughs> that was exactly what solomon did solomon came to that high place you know what he did he brought a thousand bond offering he said listen god i need you to show up you see this is a great people you have given me i need to assess you i need to carry your presence if i must lead distinctively so solomon went to that great and high place and he brought this this this, this thousand burnt offering upon the altar guess what happened ha ha let do do you know what happened bible may understand he gave to solomon in a dream by night that same night the lord appeared by the mystery of the blood of passover the Lord will appear to you. You will have an encounter. You will have an encounter. You will have an encounter. You will have an encounter in the name of Jesus. I see you having an encounter that will affect your generation. I see you having an encounter that will push you from mediocrity to celebrity. I see you having an encounter that will change the course of your destiny forever by the mystery of the blood of Passover, your encounter will not be in question. All that has asked you in the past, where is your God? By the mystery of the blood of Passover, they will come back to you and they will say, I want to know your God. They will say, I want to know your God. They will say, I want to know your God in the name of Jesus. Child of God, your blessings will no longer be in question. Yesterday, we missed the ministration of the bishop because we had to allow him to celebrate his golden jubilee. And we had to allow him after that activity to have some rest. But tonight, the bishop is going to be coming online. Everything in your life that has defiled the blessings of God Maybe it was activated by a woman. Standing on the authority of the word of God and his anointing upon my life, I cast that thing now to the roots. You will receive a testimony. If it was activated by a man, I covered the anointing upon the life of the bishop. I cast that thing to the roots. You will testify. You're blessed, children of the Most High God. You're highly favored. Can someone say Jesus must be famous? If indeed you have been enjoying what the Lord has been doing in our midst, I want you to say, I love you, Lord. Now, don't go away. The bishop is coming up in a second. You're blessed in all things. Hallelujah.